Growing chili peppers in your garden can be a lot of fun, but when it comes to chili peppers, I'm a fan of flavor, not intense heat. To give you an idea what I'm talking about, American pharmacist Wilbur Scoville created a spice heat index chart that rates chilies by heat units. Some of my favorites are on the low end of the scale, which include New Mexico chilies, poblanos, and jalapenos. I like to collect seeds from chili peppers I've eaten throughout the year that have mild heat, but lots of flavor. This chili reaser is from Hatch, New Mexico, and we use it to make our red sauces. We keep it outside so it stays nice and dry, but when it's time to make a red sauce, we simply snap off a couple of chilies, but we save those seeds for later for planting. Well, let's head to the garden and I'll show you some of the chili peppers I've got growing. When Christopher Columbus first sampled what the Aztecs called chilies, he thought they were related to black pepper and called them chili peppers, and that was the beginning of the confusion. Chili peppers are not really peppers at all. They're members of the nightshade family and are related to tomatoes and eggplant. One thing to know about growing chili peppers is that the seeds are very slow to germinate, so you'll want to start them indoors a few months early before taking them out to the garden and planting them. It's late December, my grapes have come and gone, but my chili peppers are all still producing. I chose this long, narrow space because it faced west and chili peppers need a lot of sun. They can take partial shade though, but this worked out perfect. These are jalapenos that I planted this spring, and you can see they're still producing. Up here is a great example of what happens to peppers when you leave them on the vine to maturity. They start out green and they're great to eat then, but if you leave them on, they turn bright red like this one, and they get a little bit sweeter, but they also get a little bit hotter, but they're good either way. These are poblano peppers, and I love them because they're super flavorful and they're very mild on the heat scale. Uh, these are a little bit small right now, but they'll get about oh, two or three times that size before they're ready to pick, and they make a great chili relleno. This is another one of my favorites. This is the uh, New Mexico Big Jim variety, and these three plants are just producing like gangbusters for, for December. I just can't believe it. I'm going to get two or three more dozen nice peppers off these plants by the end of the month. Now, even though I've planted the majority of my peppers here along this wall, I've planted them in little groupings all over the yard, and I'd like to show you some of those now. This is another variety of New Mexico chili pepper called Sandia, and these are actually from the seeds off the restore that we showed you in the backyard. And you can see how well these are doing. They're nice and long, and these are delicious, either green when roasted or red in a chili sauce. These are more of the New Mexico variety called Big Jim, and just look at these chilies. They're just turning from green to red, and I love them both ways. Mmm, delicious. Chili peppers are the ultimate Southwest flavor, so take advantage of our desert climates and plant some chilies in your garden. You'll be glad you did.